Welcome to Touch Technology Review today. A very quick demonstration on how to install RAM by yourself on the 2019 27-inch iMac. The great thing about this model is that you can remove a latch behind the machine and easily access the RAM compartment and install your own RAM, which is going to save you from paying that very excessive Apple tax when you're upgrading RAM through the Apple Store or online. So it's a very easy thing to do. I want to show you how to do it, but before we go on and have a look at how it's done, a quick discussion about the types of RAM that are compatible, and most importantly, the configuration in which you need to install the RAM. There's a lot of confusion about this online, so I thought I'd clarify it in this video. In terms of the RAM specification, you need to install DDR4 2666 SO DIMM, rated at 1.2 volts. So that is the main specification. I'll leave a full list of the specs in the description box below so you can go and check and also a few links to where you can purchase this RAM from at a very cost effective price. When you open up the RAM compartment, you'll notice that there are already two modules installed. In my case, I have the base model with eight gigabytes of RAM. So there's two lots of four and they're installed in slots number one and three leaving number two and four available for expansion. And the reason they're installed like that is to take advantage of dual channel speed. So when you're running RAM in dual channel, you get a performance increase in the speed of the RAM. So it's really important that when you're upgrading that you're aware of that and you're upgrading in pairs. So the original installation has two four gig modules. I'm going to be adding two 16s. Now I have a couple of choices here. I could put the two 16s into slots three and four, and I would get a total of 40 gigabytes, and I would still be running in dual channel, but I am mixing my RAM configuration. I've got different manufacturers, the original one that Apple provided, plus these crucial sticks. A lot of people have mentioned online that there can be issues that arise from mixing your RAM in such a way and sometimes it can degrade the performance of your machine. To be honest with you, I have tested it in this configuration and the Geekbench scores indicate that I'm running at dual channel with this mixture of RAM running at 30 gigabits per second. When I had just a single 16 installed, so I had the two original fours by Apple and just put one 16 in, it worked just fine, but it was only running in single channel at less than 20 gigabits per second. So it still works when it's misconfigured in that way, but as long as you're matching in pairs, you'll get dual channel performance. If you don't match in pairs, it should still work as long as the right spec RAM, but you mightn't get the same sort of speed. Having said that, I decided that I didn't really need 40, so I'm taking the two fours out and I'm just putting the two 16s in. 32 gigabytes in total is more than enough for me. That way I'm running with two crucial modules, I'm not mixing the RAM in any way, and I'm pretty much assured that I'm getting the best performance out of the machine. So that's how I would go about doing it. If you've got any questions about how to install the RAM, about which type of RAM to get, if I can be of any assistance whatsoever, I'm happy to do so. Put your questions in the comments box below. In general, the principles that I've shown you today apply to all previous generations of iMac for the past five or six years that were expandable. Uh, quite a few models were, and not all were, so it's not gonna apply for everybody. But in general, the best thing to do is stick to one RAM manufacturer and install it in every second slot and make sure you're pairing the RAM in twos and you're gonna get the best performance out of the machine. So hopefully this information was helpful. If you wanna see more like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you'll be notified of up and coming videos just like this. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.